Now let's look at how do you advertise your brand? How do companies communicate their value proposition, their pricing, the branding, their positioning to the customers? And that's advertising. And let's start with a definition of what is advertising. So advertising is how a company communicates to its customers about the products and services, about the value proposition, and creates a position, but not just the way we normally talk. Advertising have to excite the customer, inform the customer, engage the customer, but also educate and enable the customer to make a decision. Because the decision is for the customer, once they understand the brand position, the brand value, and the pricing, etc., to go out and buy the product. And good advertising influences our emotions, our perceptions, our behaviors, about how often do we buy, how much do we buy, how loyal are we to the company or the brand, etc. And as you know, that many of the brands advertise a lot. If you open television, if you are on social media, Facebook or Instagram, if you're reading a magazine, you will see advertisements. So who advertises? So who are the top advertisers globally? The largest by far is a company called Procter & Gamble. And I worked for that company for almost 14 or 15 years. And the advertising budget in 2021, and you can see that in the link in the slide, is about $11.5 billion. That's about 80 to 90,000 crore rupees. And then Amazon, close to Procter & Gamble, about $10.9 billion. And then you can go down the list of just how much these companies advertise to grow their business. L'Oreal, which is into cosmetics and shampoos, etc. Samsung, many of you will be using a Samsung phone. Alibaba, Chinese company, not very common in India, but some of you may be exposed to it. Unilever, or in India is it called Hindustan Lever, very big advertiser. And it's got many brands. So Procter & Gamble, if you look at the brands, it's Tide, it's Ariel, it's Head & Shoulder, it's Pantene, it's Olay, it's Whisper, it's Pampers. Those are the brands that Procter & Gamble would advertise. Unilever, it will advertise Dove, or some of the food brands like Kisan. And then if you go down, you have Nestle, which is also a, big, very, a very big advertiser. And some of the brands that they advertise are Nescafe, Maggie, Cerillac, and so on. The other two brands, not so popular in India, Comcast and LVMH. But the tenth, of course, most of you, probably all of you, will be using it. It's called Google. And it advertises. So now, what are the key elements of advertising? Advertising costs money, because you have to spend money when you advertise. And therefore, it starts with the central circle, is what is the goal of your advertisement? What are you trying to achieve through your advertising? Build awareness of your brand or a customer value proposition? Is it an educational program? Is it an excitement program? So what's the goal? Grow sales, make yourself more profitable because you want to take up your price. And then the budget, how much money that you want to spend on advertising. Because 
If you are advertising, for example, in the IPL, the cricket event is very expensive. Even a 10 second or a one minute television advertisement is very, very expensive. So it starts with the goals and budgets. And then you need to have a strategy, a marketing strategy, how your advertising supports your overall marketing. And those of you who are interested in advertising as a career, I encourage you to go deeper by taking courses either on NPTEL or at your own college or in some other platform or do an MBA in marketing. But at a very high level, after you've got your marketing strategy, the creative part comes in because all advertisements are not the same. Advertisements, whether you see it on TV or you see it on a newspaper or a magazine or you see it on on YouTube or Facebook, generally is very creative. There's a story, there's an idea. And that's very important because it requires creativity. And it also requires a lot of graphic design and television production and copywriting and so on. And we'll show you some example later on on advertising. And if you want an advertising career, you must develop your creativity and your ability to communicate. And then the next thing is, which media and platforms will you advertise in? And we'll look at some of those examples in a minute. And finally, of course, is when you've got your goals and budgets and you've got your marketing strategy, and say, I want to grow my sales so much, I want to take up my price so much, I want to build awareness of so much, all of this can be measured. And there are dashboards which most of the companies will use to track, and they're tracking companies which will give you the data. And finally, from business point of view, the head of marketing or the head of the company will decide, is that advertising campaign successful? And that comes under effective execution. And if you're successful, you continue with the advertising because you're getting the sales, you're getting the profits, you're building the awareness. But if it's not getting you the results, you probably change the idea or you change the advertising or you change the platform. So what are some of the channels? What are some of the top media channels? If you look at the preference, and again, the link is given there, global consumer, most of you are consumers. You'll use the product. So what you will like to look at are events, sponsored events, like World Cup cricket, or a football league, or a cricket league like IPL, or the Olympics, a sponsored event, or cinema ads. When you go to watch Salman Khan, or Shah Rukh Khan, or any other stars' movies, you see a few advertisements, and you're okay to see them as part of the cinema that you're watching. Out of home ads, what you see all the hoardings, all the billboards in the roads, and we'll show you some examples. Point of sales, ads, in the store, or in the e-commerce platform. And digital out of home ads, which are the electronic signboards that you see sometimes when you're on the road. And similarly, marketers also prefer online video ads, events, etc. So these are standard media channels. So now, which are the brands which are advertisement brands? Which means that these are the brands or platforms which actually give you advertising. For example, YouTube or TikTok. Manufacturers like Procter & Gamble or Unilever or Nestle or Nike or Adidas or Tata's or Godrej or Samsung can advertise on a platform called YouTube or on a platform called Google or on a platform called TikTok or Instagram or on Spotify or on Amazon. Because when you go to Amazon, you'll see sponsored products. So you can actually advertise your brand or your product on any of those 
products. And these advertising platforms are brands on their own rights. Coming to India, and just to give you a feel, who are the top advertisers in India? We saw the global example before. So if you look at India, the biggest is actually Hindustan Lever, because Hindustan Lever is very big in India. It's not the biggest in the world, but it's, a, it's very big in India. And then you look at Reckitt Ben Kaiser, etc., which has several brands. Then we've got Godrich Consumer Products. You've got Brookborn, Lipton. And if you go down the list, you've got Cadbury's. Many of you will be having Cadbury's or Bone Vita or any of the Cadbury's brands. Then we've got ITC, ITC Cigarettes, ITC Hotels, ITC Consumer Brands like Fioma, ITC Chocolates like Fabel. And then if you go down the list, you see Britannia, a lot of biscuit brands, food brands, like Parley G, very popular biscuit brand. Flipkart itself advertises. And then you've got Pons India. Many of you may be using a Pons cream. And of course, Procter & Gamble, which is the biggest in the world advertiser, but not the biggest in India. This is just to give you a feel of different companies who are advertising in many different ways. And this was the top Indian TV advertisers. Now let's look at what different kinds of advertising are there. And if you look at the screen, you will see there are types of advertising like print advertising. I'll show you some examples in a while. Direct mailing, television, radio, movie, in-store, outdoor. And then you get, start getting into the electronic media, like SMS. Many of you will be getting SMS advertising. I get a lot. And it's irritating so many I get because it just clutters my phone. And then get a social media advertising and influencer marketing. Many of you may actually be social media influencers. And many social media influencers have a huge following on Facebook or Instagram. And the social media influencers actually earn money from the brands to influence the behavior and the choice and the purchase of potential customers like maybe yourself or me. And then we've got paid search and so on. I'll show you some examples in a while and they get into endorsement marketing. So let's look at some examples. Print ads. If you open a newspaper, most of the newspaper will carry advertisements like this. They will be in magazines. And if you walk into a store, especially a supermarket, Star Bazaar or D-Mart, you'll probably get a pamphlet where some advertisement is there, either the product or the, the price, the promotions. So that's a print ad. And this is from a newspaper. So you can see these two companies advertising on the newspaper. This is TV ads. Most Indians, most of you would have watched the IPL or the World Cup. And as you watch the match, you see a lot and lot of TV advertisements for different brands, different companies, different products. In-store ads. So if you walk into a store, you will find a lot of signage. This is not an Indian store, but you can make out in the picture signages for brands, posters, or stickers. Any of the stores that you walk in, you'll probably see in-store advertisements. Sometimes you'll find a person in the store, and here you see an example of an ITC person who is talking to you and promoting the ITC products. And they're called ITC or whichever brand they represent promoters, or in general, in-store promoters. By the way, you can also see a Kellogg standy out there which advertises the Kellogg brands. And then you see those small stickers out there which is probably promoting and showing a discount for the juice brands. So you see in-store promotions, in-store promoters, 
and in-store signage. Outdoor ads. So if you're driving down, you'll see a lot of hoardings or billboards, like in the picture, which advertises different brands and products. So these are outdoor, on the roads. This is sports advertising. So if you go to a sports arena, like the World Cup final, the Ahmedabad cricket stadium that is there, or any of the cricket stadium, football stadium, you'll see that there's a lot of advertisement which happens within the stadium itself, at the sporting event. So this is sports advertising. Coming to the more digital advertisement, social media advertising. All of you are familiar with it, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Spotify, etc. You will see advertisement in your feed. Moving on, search advertisement. So whenever you do a Google search, and I've got an extract here, you can do a search yourself. Along with the search results, you will probably see some pictures or some advertisement of certain products. So in this case, I search for Indian soaps. But along with the search results, I got an advertisement for actual Indian soap brands and products. So these are called search ads. And companies can pay for them. And whenever you or me or any other target customer does a search on Google or some of the search engines, you can see those advertisements. And these are called search ads. Google is the largest. And there is a whole methodology to search ads. Then there is search engine optimization, which means that if you and I or anyone searches for a certain product, which hit or which page, which kind of product or which site does Google or Bing or DuckDuckGo show right up front. Because when you search for something, there may be one million hits. But nobody goes beyond the first or the second page, which means beyond the first 20 or 40 or 50. Nobody looks at the million others. So the key is how do you get your product, your website, your page into the first page, preferably on top of the search. And there's a whole science to it. And that's called search engine optimization or SEO. And again, those of you who want to build an advertising, a career in digital advertising should do follow-up courses and train yourself on digital advertising, which is a very hot field nowadays. Endorsement ads are when celebrities, film stars or cricket stars, or Virat Kohli or Amitabh Bachchan, or any of the foreign celebrities, endorse a product in any platform, on a TV or an e-commerce platform, as you can see in the picture here, or in a social media platform. So these are called endorsement ads because the celebrity is endorsing that product. And you and I, as ordinary customers and consumers, if you see a celebrity endorsing a product or a brand, chances are we'll go and buy it. So that's an endorsement. With that, let's look at the second reflection point. Based on what I've shared about advertising, think of a brand that you use regularly. How is it advertised? Think about how it's advertised. Is it online, offline, in-store, on the road, in digital platforms, in Google, in Facebook? Think about what is the key message in the advertisement. 
Think about how effective is the advertisement. Think about how have you been influenced by the advertisement to purchase that brand or that product. So reflect on these points and make some notes on your course journal. Now, what are the marketing skills that you need to develop if you want to build a career in marketing? And I've highlighted what is really very important in today's world, especially the digital marketing skills. Some of it is common for all kinds of marketing. But digital marketing is particularly attractive for young people. So let me talk you through some of the skills you can develop through a specialized course or in your college or through an MBA or some other program. First of all, you need to learn about social media and internet advertising. There are many courses out there and programs which teaches you these skills. How to do great advertising on Facebook or Google or Instagram or YouTube. More importantly, you must develop your customer and market research skills, which are talked about in the very first module of this course. You need to develop your analytical skills and strategic planning skills because your marketing and your advertising program and your digital campaign has to be based on data that you collect from the customers. Build those skills. On the creativity side, because marketing is not just about data and analysis. It's also about a lot of creativity. So you have to develop your creativity skills. You have to develop your storytelling skills. You may not be telling the story, 
but you need to build an advertisement which tells a story about your product or your service. You have to develop about user interfaces. The user interface is basically an app or a web page or a site where the user interacts to use the product, buy the product or the service. For example, the Amazon app or the Tata apps or any of the apps or web pages that you use to interact with or buy a product. And then, of course, campaign design and content creation. So these are the creativity skills and the communication skills that I encourage you to develop to become a great marketer and a great advertiser. So with that, we come to the end of this module. Namaskar. Thank you.